Fresh, and this is becoming a YouTube series that will um, have me talking to some of my closest friends and some funny people, musical people, all kinds of people. Um, I love to talk and uh, about important things and funny things as well. So please come along on this journey and let's do, let's uh, do some weird stuff. I am Lee Nash, and this is my guest, Liz Longley. Do you have an aversion, do you and your partner, your husband, have an aversion to McKenna becoming, like, do you have any feelings about that yet? If she is interested in music, how you'll guide her? Oh, man. Back? I haven't thought about how, you know, like, if I would advise her to take this kind of career path. I don't know. I mean, it's been such a huge gift in my life. Like, I absolutely love this path, and my parents were always 100% supportive of me doing it so I would hope that I could pass that on and not have a jaded mindset but um but I I don't think I would force music on her if she wasn't interested you know or if yeah. it didn't like it didn't call her like right. it called me but um my parents definitely like pushed me toward it when I was young and then I kind of pushed back I hated lessons and reading music mm -hmm. and then when I, they left the house on vacation I started writing alone and it was like when I could come to it myself I wanted it. So yeah. I would hope that I could give her the space to walk into it herself, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. So is, is Henry musically inclined at all? Or? Um, he is. He loves um, guitar. He loves to play guitar. He's really good at it. Um, oh. He teaches himself everything on YouTube. Oh, my gosh. Um, everything, including Russian. <laughs> um, he can so speak Russian? Yeah, he's, that's what he's going to school for now. Like, no way. Yeah. Um, the Whoa. Russian language. Um is part part of the the major part of his study, but um, he's just a freshman, so he's not sure yeah. yet. But he's that's his favorite thing is the language, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, but uh, but yeah, he loves playing guitar. He played hockey for um, years until right up until the pandemic, and they were making them wear masks under their all the gear and it was just too claustrophobic oh, for him yeah. i think it was hard enough yeah as it was but he he was a, he's a really good player really great ice skater really fast um so th I, that was kind of heartbreaking during the pandemic to see that you know go away but mm -hmm. we got so much time with him during mm -hmm. that what that be like half sophomore ju and junior year half sophomore half junior year i guess i don't remember um but to have him have him with us it was magic. Yeah. See how insanely long his beard existed and could grow was a shock. Oh. Because like he was like, I don't have to go anywhere. I'm never shaving again. <laughs> so I know a little bit I more definitely subscribe to that. About how how who <laughs> who he is and how he is. And it's yeah, it was it was a gift and also, you know, very anxiety producing i think yeah, for everybody yeah. and i did and i watched you know my husband is a songwriter and i watched him every day day do co-writes because he has a publishing deal and mm. do co-writes on zoom and he would go out on the porch religiously never late always wrote a great song and it's just not it's just not in my wheelhouse like yeah I got to, like, the stars have to align. I'm the same way. Yeah, I respect people that can do that, but uh, I couldn't show up like that. I felt so anyway. intimidated, and that's probably, I have told him that a bunch. Like, I really respect how much, like, how hard you yeah. worked, but I should probably tell him again. Because <laughs> it really, it was something to see. Yeah, And it incredible. gave me a lot of freedom just to be in my feels about yeah. how scared I was. Yeah. And, you know, but, like, you know, in order to get to the, kitchen from the bedroom you have to pass henry's room uh, in order to get anywhere like he's like right in the middle of the house and mm -hmm. so what a gift i i loved that you know having that little that little uh pack that we had during that mm -hmm. time so did yes. you take henry on tour when you were when he was little i always thought that would be the coolest flex <laughs> like <laughs> here's my baby <laughs> um but for no i i was with him for I, I didn't leave at all like I didn't tour I was um pretty dead set on not doing doing any heavy touring just to be with him but then as uh he got older I started needing to go do you know dates to mm -hmm. as I said you know keep food on the table and um 
and that was hard. And usually my mom would come and be with him because my mom's just like a better, like a cooler, better version of me, in my opinion. She's super cute. I'm I've obsessed seen her with her. She's so, so cute, cute and so weird and so <laughs> funny. And they've always been really close, Henry and my mom. And so, um, it, you know, if I was really lucky, she would be able to come, you know, f for the week I'd be gone. Yeah. Um, but it was it was really, really hard to be away from him. I would have loved to bring him. I did travel some with him to I remember to, like to Montreal to make a record a couple of times and, and travel with him that way. And it was just so much easier <laughs> to not really. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so excited for you oh, and for you. your husband and for for McKenna for having great parents and it's a, a mom journey. who's like one of the greatest singers in the world. Oh, thank and you. if you already are, you're only going to get better. Did you feel a shift when, cause I know singing pregnant was really hard. Did you feel a shift after, after you had Henry? I did. Did your voice change? I did because you're singing for another reason. Like there's a purpose. Mm. There's like mm. for that reason. And I think the physic physiology, physiologically, mm -hmm. I think things change cause your body, you know, is like, I always think of it as, you know, how all they say all cellos or fiddles or violins, they're, mm -hmm. each one is different, mm -hmm. right? I think that's true. I've heard that. Yeah. But I think we're the same way, like singers. Um, yeah. It's the way every curve, everything inside and out makes that sound. And so yeah. you have this major emotional, psychological, and physiological shift. Of course, it's going to sound different and hopefully enrich it. But I remember, I think the best vocal I ever sang was when I was pregnant with Henry. And it was U2's Love is Blindness. Do you mm -hmm. know that song? Mm -hmm. um, it's a great song. We were doing it. It was a sixpence um, thing. We were uh, contributing to a compilation album or something. But but I remember thinking, like, that was that was super interesting to me, like, singing with somebody on board. Wow, it yeah. It was creepy. It was yeah. like a duet. To oh Did my gosh. Did you do less? I mean, I, I know you sang all the way up to. Yeah. And at one show I played in like my third, the beginning of my third trimester, I was singing this ballad about growing up and leaving home. And no joke, she kicked me so hard <laughs> that my voice skipped. Oh my I was like, goodness. ah! And I had to stop and say, I'm so sorry that wasn't me. I didn't want anyone to think that I was just like randomly like croaking out of control so, yeah. so i said I'm like the best was, singer that ever was a kick. that was literally a kick that's that incredible threw me so hard wow it was wild it never happened at any other Isn't point it, the, it didn't like no. during shows you mean no or even not she shows. wasn't a big kicker she was but it didn't make my voice jump right i right. mean it was that intense. was intense yeah i bet she, she was like excited. flipping or something yeah oh it's i haven't sung that song to her yet so. it's the sweetest time and i i i wish so much that i could have gone through it pregnancy like a hundred times really but then i don't i i only want the one baby yeah. <laughs> um i love i loved being a mom i love being a mom yeah. to this one little gorilla that i have <laughs> he's not little he's huge but um but yeah i i enjoyed the the pregnancy part so yeah. much and just the the um what you're talking about like yeah. being on tour i toured really late as Gym, well yeah. uh, right up almost but not as mu not as far as you did because mm -hmm. i was watching on instagram i was like I'm oh no, this. this is a little dangerous the but doctor did, did not approve the last tour and i was like i am going i think and I'm just your voice go. i think it did you feel like it had a special like a little extra sauce on it Maybe. In a, i know it's harder to breathe harder to breathe and also just like phlegm and i don't All know there stuff. was a lot more yeah. going on yeah and yeah but no, I, I definitely felt more emotional, which is always, I mean, that's all that really matters. That's incredible. When you're singing, right? For sure. But yeah. And um, and she gets to be the benefactress of that, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't know if that's the right, I think that's the right I word. Like but they experience that too. There's yeah. there's memory before. Yeah. I was watching this documentary about, have you, it's called Heal Yourself? I don't know it. <laughs> or maybe it's called Feel Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's called Heal, Healing or Heal Yourself. But, um, it was ta they were talking about it was a 30 year old man that was microdosing LSD under the the watch of a doctor. Uh huh. Did you I see think this? I've heard about that. Well, no, he he remembered being in his mother's womb and the cord being wrapped around his neck too tight and having to decide, do I want to come into this world or no not? Way. 
And so when he was, you know, out of the, you know, off the trip or whatever was going on, he he corroborated that with his mother, and that's exactly what had happened. And and he, so I do I believe there's memory before Whoa. before words. Of course there is, but even before, I think there's yeah in uh-huh. utero. Of course, it makes everybody sense. I mean, that's why even we play now, music though, to him when I'm when I'm sitting with McKenna, I'm wondering like, well, and and I, I don't have any memories back that far, but you no. start to wonder like, you know what are of. they what are they clocking? You know what I mean? Right, right. Because I'm listening to like. Kardashians while we're hanging out. Oh, okay, you're <laughs> worried about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, don't listen to what this. What she's sensing probably <laughs> is a great sense of calm. If that's what like calms you down, seriously. Yeah. You gotta take care of you. Yeah. Put your own mask on first. I love that. Her yeah. on. <laughs> I live by that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I have to. Um, I think that's I think that's amazing, and I'm I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited to see this like family situation go on the road and i don't know just hear how it goes and write with you more i would love that hey i hope you've enjoyed becoming today and i uh, hope that you'll join again please hit like love subscribe whatever you can do so that you'll get and also turn on your notifications so that when i have a new episode you'll be alerted and trust me they'll be worth it i've got some really fun funny weird plans